Good morning, people. What's up? Guys, we are here on a Monday. Uh, we're ready to get after it another week. Hopefully, this is the last week that we're not with you all. Um, we're really excited about that, uh, potentially getting to come back. We'll find out if that's for sure coming up in the next couple days. But uh, we wanted to jump in and continue these talks. Uh, what's up, Gary? We wanted to continue these talks. And for me, I want to be able to kind of guide us to nutrition again and talk a little bit about um some of the things that we uh, do and kind of our methodology and a lot of the ways that we view nutrition, we know it's such an essential part of the building blocks to your success. Um, and most people who have experienced the greatest success with our fitness and the programming and the environment here at our CrossFit gyms um, experience uh, incredible, incredible results when they're able to pair a balance and kind of lay a foundation of nutrition that allows them to then jump into and make the the most out of their time in the gym. So with nutrition today, we're talking about diets, why they suck, why we don't do diets, uh, and why we want to talk about and how we want to frame all of our talks about nutrition. Um, so for the first thing today, uh, most of the time people, when they make a change, they're making a change uh, that's probably geared towards weight loss. Now it's not everyone, especially in the fitness world. There's a lot of people and their goal is maybe to gain weight or to gain strength. Um, and so you can apply these things to that. But for the most part, most people who are in interested in nutrition and who are trying diets um, are trying diets in order to lose weight. Um, how do we lose weight? And again, we're going to say it over and over and over again because we just want people to know and we want you to be able to share that with people and help all of us understand better. The way we lose weight is by being in a calorie deficit. It's a very simple concept that a lot of times we end up way, way, way over complicating. Uh, we try, sometimes we try the hardest things possible to do some of the simplest things. In reality, it's a very simple process. We just need to lose weight by eating less than our body weight currently needs to sustain. And so what we're hopefully going to be able to do is with a balanced and healthy uh, diet of what we are eating, we want to be able to eat less and then we're going to be able to lose weight because we're bringing in less calories than we're needed to support all the extra body fat that we're trying to lose. And so that's what we're trying to do. We can do a calorie deficit. We can do weight loss um, in a sustainable way intense, unsustainable diets that make you and those around you miserable. Let's be honest, we all know someone who's been and engaged in a diet that made the people around them miserable because they're miserable and they're always they're bringing that miserable energy to those around them because they're not able to do the things they normally do um, and they're trying to start uh, to do things that just in reality are making their life complicated and they're making their life miserable. And so what we're trying to do is help you understand that diets suck because there's four reasons. Okay, the first, um, diets bring misery by cutting the things you love about food. Now, I really am passionate about this because food being and having family um, from the South and being, uh, you know, having family in New Orleans, especially for me is where my family and we kind of just, you know, had this love of food uh, and the culture and these different extreme cultures traveling around the world and experiencing the different cultures and the food. I love food and I love the idea of being able to try a lot of different types of food and try new things. Um, what we a lot of times do when we try to have a diet that's weight loss is you end up cutting all the things you love because you think that there needs to be this misery uh, in order to lose weight. But the reality is what we're trying to do is trying to teach and trying to learn moderation so that we can continue to do the things that we love about food that may not be super healthy for us, but understand that when we do those things moderately, not only are we going to enjoy them more, but we're also going to be able to still see results while still engaging those things. The perfect example is right your pizza night. You should never do a diet that's just going to cut pizza for the rest of your life, right? We want to eat something and we want to do diets that are sustainable for the rest of your life. No one wants to be healthy for six months and then says, oh, I don't care what happens to my health after that, right? We want to engage and learn to eat in a way that's going to be able to support us for the rest of our lives. Um, and for me, there's no way I'm going to ever do anything that's going to cut pizza for my life. So what do I want to do? Instead of learning to cut those things and try to punish myself, all I need to do is understand how food works better so that I can eat those things in moderation, still achieve my goals, and still be able to enjoy the things that I love with the people around me that I love. 
The second thing um, is that diets a lot of times bring frustration because they rely on your willpower and it ends up making you feel like you're not successful because willpower doesn't work in the long term. Willpower can work great for a short period of time, and a lot of times it is good to have willpower and to develop that willpower. But at the same time, we don't want a diet that's going to bring on more and more frustration because ultimately you are constantly going to feel like you're banging your head against the wall and not making progress because instead of learning about changing your environment, right, making the bad choices hard, making the good choices that you need to make, making those easier by creating an environment around you that supports that, a lot of times we end up just trying to rely on willpower and walk past the kitchen cabinet or walk past the table that's got all the candy laid out, um, a lot of times we just need to work on changing our environment instead of just trying to you know, rely on willpower. Learn how to set yourself up for success. Learn how to not bring things into your house that are going to constantly pull you and make you 10 times a night when you're at home say, no, I can't eat that. Instead, if we don't have that around you, then you're not having to do that. It's going to it's going to bring a lot more peace to you, uh, and it's going to make it a lot more st- sustainable for your for the changes that you want to make. All right, the last or uh, the third thing, uh, we know that diets. Can I just mention this earlier? We know that diets can't last forever, and what that usually means is that diets end up leaving us on the other end, losing the progress that we made whenever we stop that, um, and making you, if not worse than before, um, even more frustrated than you were before, um, a lot of times it does end up leaving you worse. A rebound effect. When we go into these extremes that are not sustainable and we constantly torture ourselves for three months with a diet, a lot of times what the next nine months or the next two years looks like is this slow process where you end up little by little giving into that willpower and you end up back where you started, if not worse than when you started. Instead, what we want to do is learn to eat in a balanced way that's going to be something that you're able to do over the long term. It means we make small we make small changes over time as opposed to making these big intense changes in big sweeping uh, amounts of time, three months, and we just make a huge change. We do something unsustainable as opposed to trying to start with a month even or even start with two months of little small changes over time. This leads to the fourth point, which is that a lot of times diets, the reason they suck is because they make you lose trust in yourself and your ability to change and to see change. Um, We want to be able to trust ourselves. If we start off a diet where we cut out 20 different foods that we enjoy, that's just going to leave you, um, again, leaving it up to willpower. It's going to fail, and then you're going to end up on the other end of that, doubting your ability to set a goal and change. Right. What we want to do instead is to build confidence with, like what I mentioned before, small changes over time. As you build that confidence, it's going to help you trust your ability to set a goal, and then you can set a little more aggressive goal. So for us, what that looks like with nutrition potentially means instead of starting by cutting out every every gram of sugar that you have in your diet, by cutting out all the drinks that you love, by cutting out all the alcohol, by cutting out all the Mexican food, all these things that you love, what we do is we say, let's start by drinking 100 ounces of water. We're going to do that for three weeks, and we're going to do that 100%. And when we're able to do that 100% of the time for 21 days, then we're going to build into and we're going to add in a piece of fruit. And then we're going to build in and we're going to add to that A lot of times we start by just trying to subtract everything as opposed to starting by just building in small things over time that help you build confidence in yourself that then allow you to make a little bit more of an aggressive step further. We want to be able to be um, as efficient as possible. A lot of times the yo-yo dieting just ends up making you doubt yourself. What it's also going to do is it's going to build confidence in other areas of your life. Okay, so whether it's habits that you have with regards to your sleep, right, or maybe even your exercise. A lot of times those nutritional um, goals that you set, small, tangible goals that you're able to do 100%, as you build into those, then you're going to trust yourself to make changes. Then you're going to look at other areas of your life and you're going to say, hey, I know the process isn't just to cut TV completely, right? So maybe I'm just going to cut TV 30 minutes every night. I'm going to go to bed 30 minutes earlier. I'm going to read for 30 minutes instead of TV. We don't cut all the shows. We don't turn off Netflix. You don't undo your subscriptions to those things. We just slowly start to change, you build confidence in yourself, and then you're able to come to the new year and you're able to say, hey, I know exactly the process. I know the formula 
that change really looks like, and then you're able to go through and make real changes that actually last. So four reasons why diets suck. One, they bring misery by cutting out the food that you love. They bring misery and frustration by making you constantly rely on your willpower. Um, we know diets don't last forever. A lot of times they end up leaving us worse than before, and diets make us lose and lose that trust in yourself and your ability to change. So we have a way to do that. We want to counter those things. Um, and so I hope, you guys, uh, I hope you guys are able to apply this. If you have questions and you want to maybe work through that, I would love to just talk with you um, and, and maybe make a plan for what change can look like so that you can, you're able to, in the long term, see the results that you want and not end up miserable and back worse than you started. So hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you soon. Later.